Okay, well, she is in the Renault garage to get the squeaking sorted out. So hopefully that will work. Um, and I got some sustainable transport to get back to work on. It's a long old way, 15 miles, something like that. Well, back out the old service center. That's working, which is nice. And uh, I've got some bits and bobs, but they couldn't find a fault with the squeaking. So they weren't sure what it was. And they couldn't take out of an extended test drive because the tire needs replacing. It's the off side tire, front tire. Um, and they quoted 147 pounds to replace it. So I've taken the car back away and they're gonna get it fitted somewhere else, a different tire, not a Michelin one. And that's significantly cheaper to fit. And I'm gonna take it back so then they can have a look at this squeaking. So I sent them a video, they couldn't get it to squeak because it's raining, so it doesn't make a squeaking noise when it's damp. Uh, and he does it in summer or in dry weather. Sent him a video of it doing it over and over again just by dropping the throttle and pressing the brake, dropping the throttle and squeaks like mad. So I'm gonna take it back in again. Uh, they did charge it to full. So they put it on charge, they give it a wash and they updated the uh, system to discern an out displaced time and things like that. But they've also supposedly fixed the charging issue on the timer where I can't charge on a timer because it just trips out the charger or doesn't start. Apparently other viewers have said they can do an update at Nissan, at Nissan, at, Nissan, at Renault. So I'm gonna test it tonight and see whether or not I have to keep waking up to about half 11 or midnight to plug it in to get economy seven, or whether now I can just plug it in when I get home and then like the Nissan used to, just wait for it to kick in at midnight. So we shall see. I will report back shortly. Okay, so I've set the timer to that, half past midnight. Mm -hmm. It's 143 miles on the clock. So I'm just gonna say done, job done. That's still on there, power it off. I'll plug it in now and it shouldn't start charging until then. Okay. Let's try this. Put that in there. Lovely. Right, that's flashing away. So, that's good. That's doing that. That's doing that. Oh, it's clunked. It sounds like it's giving out power. It is, isn't it? Time remaining. Okay. It's not charging. All right, that's not charging, which is good, but this is making quite a loud humming noise. Mm. Okay, well, I'll leave it plugged in, see what happens. All right, let's have a little look. So has this delivered anything? It says charging. Is it really charging? Mm, not sure. Let's open this up and see what the percentage says. 100%. This works, people. So if you've got the same issues I had, I was chipping the charger out, then go to your Renault dealer. It's not just the update to get the time in there. It's actually another update specifically to do with the charging, which thank you to a viewer pointed out. I went and did it and uh, that's sorted it out, that's sorted all the problems out. So it's charged just fine. Yay! Uh, now I'll have to update you at some other time if I get the squeaking sorted out. Well, winter is on its way. Not quite, but close. Oh, Brucey boy. Um, there's one little thing that I noticed with that charger, just before I go, is that it appears to reset each time. It doesn't remember that schedule. But I'm gonna check now, see if that's the case. Should we get going, Brucey? Good idea, isn't it? Okay, up. He's a good, isn't he? He's a beast. Bye, Bruce. As you will see, still 100%, that's brilliant. Been about two miles. There is no charger icon on the schedule icon on there let's have a little look charger schedule 
always charging. Interesting. So I'll select that again and then say done. And then that logo comes up. Um, I'm assuming that tomorrow it will do, I just did the same thing yesterday. It will charge tonight if I put it on, which I probably won't. Um, but then we'll reset back to not being on. You just have to turn it on. Which is a little bit of a bugbear. It's not a major problem, but what it does mean on the way home, I'll just have to set it as I'm driving rather than sitting in the driveway setting it. Um, but yeah, unless anyone knows a way of making it stay on that mode, then do comment below. But otherwise, that charger is now fixed. I don't have to stay up until almost midnight to make sure to get on economy seven. I can actually just plug it in and leave it. So that's pretty neat. So I did a test last night. I didn't plug it in, didn't charge it, and that disappeared again. So it's irrespective of the charge or not. So I had a quick look, and if you go to charger schedule, you've got always on, and then this must be just a 24 hour, probably says in the manual, 24 hour. Then this, you can set this, you see, and you go to edit, and then you can set the days, the times you want for the days. So what you could do, I've set Monday already, but you go to Tuesday, let's say there is currently no charge plan for Tuesday. Add a charge schedule from midnight, um, and then zoom it up to like 7.30 in the morning or seven o'clock in the morning, whatever you want, really. So of course you don't have to plug it in then. You just say done. Mm. Wednesday. Hmm, we should have done that for Tuesday. Oh, it ends Wednesday. Ah, you have to go, you do have to go backwards. Okay. Okay. The time when I set Monday, I went the long way around. So I went from this, they're both showing naught. And I thought, oh, well, I'll go back through it. And it's, and it's tedious because you have to wait to go through all the numbers. And I thought, oh, it's okay. It's quicker to go from naught on the way through. But of course, it takes it to Wednesday. So you don't want that. Can't actually add in here, can I? No. Okay, so you have to watch it go all the way down. It's a bit tedious and manually entering it. Um, done. So is that another? Done. So there we go. So let's just try Wednesday. So look at this little plus. Add charge schedule. Let's see what happens. A hey, duplicate on the next day. So let's go to. Let's go. Whoa, let's go back here. Let's go edit. Uh, let's go here. Plus duplicate on every day. Boom. So you have to do it once. Yay. There we go. Right. So that's the schedule set from midnight to seven in the morning every single day. That's back up. Job done. So now I shouldn't have to do anything at all. It just sets the calendar, done, job done. Yay, perfect. So this is on a charge schedule. Um, and the only problem with this is, I don't think it's actually charging now. I hope it isn't charging. I'll check in a second. It kind of looks like it is charging, but it's on a charge schedule from midnight onwards. It does sound like it's charging. Hmm. Bear in a second. It is. It's putting power in. But it's on the charge schedule. It's good for midnight. Oh, maybe I don't understand this then. Let's have a look. Yes, it's definitely charging. So 60 watts. The charge timer was going on before, but it would just run and then come on at midnight. But now it's 79 watt hours put in. Mm. How very strange. Oh, well. Okay. It's charging, despite the fact that the timer is not set for now. Uh, strange. Brucey, do you get it? I don't get it. But you see Brucey in the back there. Look at him. Anyway, so what happened was last night, it did, it just, when I plugged it in, it just charged that time. So that's a bit weird. If anybody knows why that is, um, just comment below. But it's definitely set. I've double checked. It's definitely set on that schedule that I've put in, on the calendar. Um, and it's the right times, obviously, as you saw. Um, well, it seems to be. I think I'm doing it right from north hours upwards down to whatever it was, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so a bit of a strange one. The other thing is the, whatever they did at the Renault garage, my car isn't squeaking now. They replaced no components. They tightened something up. Has anyone else had that done on their car? On their Zoe specifically, or any other Renault? Because it seems to be other Renault as well, but specifically on a Renault, Zoe. Um, have you had that or not? Um, because the only thing I can't tell is it's been raining the whole time since that day. 
And then when it rains, it doesn't squeak because it sort of lubricates it. Um, and we had a dry day yesterday and it's dry this morning. It's supposed to rain later this afternoon, but it hasn't squeaked on the way in this morning. So anyone else had that? Don't know. Um, but apart from that, yeah, now the squeaking's gone. It's quite a nice, quiet car to drive. Uh, but the charging thing still remains a bit elusive. It kind of worked once when I did it on the per day charge where it just kills itself after it's done the charge um, or after it goes midnight even, I think it turns off. Um, and I've tried the calendar one, and that I thought that was the answer to all the things, but it doesn't appear to be. Uh, the update they did, though, did allow it to kick in at midnight when I set it per day basis. That didn't trip out the charger. It turns the charger on, there was a slight hum. And I think that was drawing about 15 watts of power. I looked on the smart meter we got, and that seemed to be drawing about 15 watts, so next to nothing, um, that hum. But it then turned on and charged, as you'd expect, calendar doesn't seem to work quite that way still on now i can still see the schedule thing on the screen but because that was another complaint so the downside to the calendar settings i've just heard people say is that when you go to a public charger of course you've got a schedule so it doesn't start charging that's why i was surprised when i got last, back last night and put it in i thought oh, i'll leave that in um and oh, i'm gonna have to cancel the charger because i actually do want charge because my battery's low and this is going to be a problem so I'll have to cancel it. But it actually, when I plugged in, it just, I sat in the car to do the video to say, well, this is the problem with it. You've got it plugged in, but it won't charge until midnight. And I need to go through the settings and actually change it so it starts charging now at 5.30 in the afternoon because I need to go somewhere. Um, but it just started charging. So I was like, oh, okay. Because I was going to make that point last night. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a way around that. So if you've got, does anyone know if you've got a calendar set up? For the seven days and you go to a public charger at midday rather than midnight uh, is there a way of pressing a button to override that or do you need to actually then turn off that and put it on to always on does anyone know that comment below um, otherwise all goes swimmingly we're getting there slowly squeak stopped can get the charger to work and the update has definitely stopped it tripping out the charger so that's a plus so if you've got the same issues i know there's several of you got the same issues as me head on over to Renault and say do the update please not just the update to get your clock working but there's another update. We have to explain to them that there's another update beyond that. Um, I don't know what it is. Someone just said there's another update, not just that. There's another update, so I use the same words and they sort it out for me. That seems to have done the tri trick. So, yes, I hope you're all keeping well and I will see you on the next one.